quick beard rule, aka beard tip. You can make any beard oil fit the preference of viscosity or thickness that you are looking for at any given time. All it involves is mixing with another oil to match that preference. And yes, you can absolutely mix two different companies' oils together. That's something I get asked about all the time. There are no drawbacks to that whatsoever. Let me break down some examples for you. Let's say that today I want to use the Ginger Jamboree from Beard Octane. But my beard, my skin, the season, the situation is telling me that I would prefer a little bit thicker of a viscosity. Beard, this Beard Octane oil is on the thin side of oils. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cap off. I'm going to put into the dropper about three-fourths of a dropper. I'm using nowadays about a full dropper or a little bit more. So I'm going to get that locked and loaded. And then I'm going to get a thicker oil. I can mix scents if I'd like, but oftentimes I just go unscented. So I would mix one like this, the Herbalist from Fable Beard Coat, which is on the thicker end of things. You can go with something from Ardeus Man or Norseman or whoever has the thicker oil. I'm just going to have the top off ready to go on this one. And what I'm going to do is is I'm going to take that desired amount of ginger jamboree, put it into my palm. While it's still in my palm, remember the top's off here, but I'm going to leave it on for demonstration purposes. Put as many drops as I would like into the palm with this thicker oil. And then all I'm going to do, mix it together in my palm, get those fingertips ready to roll, and then I'm going to apply it to my beard. Just like that, I am reaching the viscosity that I want at that given time. It can also work vice versa. There are many times where I want to wear the grower or the wizard or the teacher, some of my favorites from Fable, but it's just a little bit too thick for my beard, especially when it's warm and humid out. I like those thinner oils. So what I literally do is I take the grower and then I mix in, once that's in palm, I mix in some of the ginger jamboree from Beard Octane. Fantastic combination. I've talked about it many times. If you have those two oils, mix them together. You'll thank me later. You guys, I want you to understand it does not take a lot to be able to change any oil to fit what you would like. Another option that you can do is if you just know, right, I have a red, gray, silver, white beard, or I just prefer thicker oils in general, regardless of my beard. One thing you can do is just buy a bottle of castor oil, whether it's on Amazon, your local health store, wherever you can buy a good quality bottle of castor oil, and just keep that to the side. Let's say you want Beard Octane, but it's too thin, same process. Beard Octane in hand, add in that castor oil. Or once you go down a little bit on that Beard Octane bottle, you can just take droppers of that castor oil and put it directly in the bottle. It changes nothing. It's not going to hurt the shelf life. There's no chemistry problems with mixing it, especially when it's unscented like that. That is a fantastic option. Vice versa, you can keep a bottle of grapeseed oil or a bottle of rosehip oil if you want something to thin out some of those thicker ones. So you don't even have to mix and match two different beard companies. You can just get a light, medium, or thick carrier depending on your needs. All right, two seconds, wrap my thoughts around it, and come back to you for a conclusion. Two things I do want to make sure you do and you are aware of is if you like this video so far, please hit a thumbs up. I know some of you forgot. I do appreciate that. And if you stumbled upon this video somehow, some way, and you like beard content, consider subscribing to the channel or hitting that notification bell once you subscribe so you get alerted to all the new content and information that comes out. It makes a massive difference with what I do here. The more people that like, subscribe, do any interaction on this channel, the more beards we can get this out to and we can help in the future. So when it comes to mixing viscosity to meet your needs, what did you think? Have you done this before? Is this just common practice? Is this something that just blew your mind and it's going to change the way you approach beard oils? Big statement, I know, but who knows? Maybe it does really help someone out there in a big way. Give me a comment down below. That can really make the difference for, again, the channel and the consumers that are watching. They're not just going to hear from one beardsman. They're going to hear from hopefully hundreds out there. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.